Go for it. Okay, so connecting your bottles, come over, connect them here. Not too tight, just two finger tight. These, you'll make sure they're closed. Um, make sure that they're angled a little bit up so that when you close the door, they don't get pinched. Close your door, you wanna make sure that this bar comes down even. If it's not even, it's not gonna fill. Um, so once it's even, you got two options to fill. You can either open these guys up and fill from all of them at the same time, or you can cascade. So you'll open one up, leave the other three closed, use this, the air that's in the first storage bottle. Once that gets depleted, you can close it off, move on to the next one, and so on and so forth. Um, so for now, we'll open one. When you guys open your bottles, you want it's just a slight turn. You don't want to open them too much. And then same thing closing. Same thing closing. You don't want to over tighten, just finger tight. Um, if you guys deplete all of your storage, say you get un below 4,500, you're never going to get that 4,500 in your guys' bottles. Um, so you can shut all of these off, move over to compressor mode, and then it'll fill directly from compressor to your bottles. Um, the regulator, it's set right now at about 47. You never want to go past that. There's a, a relief valve in the back set at 49. So if you guys do go over, it's going to start popping off and it's going to sound like it's leaking. Um, your inlet pressure. So if you guys are filling com from compressor, your inlet pressure gets below 5,000, the compressor will kick on. Um, if, if you guys are done filling for the day, come over here, just shut the compressor off. That way, if it does generate a leak somewhere eventually, it's not gonna keep cycling through. Um, I think that's it. Cool.